Welcome to the San Diego 100 2023 modified course video. As most of you have heard, we had a bunch of rain in San Diego this year, which is requiring us to change the, the beginning and ending of the race. So the typical start would be here at Cuyamaca Lake in the parking lot, the southernmost parking lot. And we would typically start in heading southbound on this little trail here. But instead, this year, this year, we're gonna flip you around and start by heading north on the parking lot. So you're gonna exit in the parking lot. get to the restaurant and general store. This is where we're gonna have you cross Highway 79 right here. You cross right at this telephone pole and tree and grab this connector trail heading west. Here, you know, stay underneath these telephone poles right here for a minute. After about a quarter mile, you'll see this post and you'll be at a junction. This is the Marty Mitchell Trail Junction. We're gonna continue straight onto the famous Sugar Pine Trail. And here we go, up Sugar Pine. We're along the Sugar Pine Trail, and as soon as you come to this mile marker that says Sugar Pine Trail to Middle Peak Fire Road, 0 0.8 miles, as soon as you see that sign, you're going to actually take a left onto this connector trail. So right here, you are this many miles from the start, where on off Sugar Pine Trail, you're gonna take a left and there's a short little connector trail. And this trail connects with Middle Peak Fire Road. Yeah. So this is Middle Peak Fire Road. We're gonna take a right and head uphill on the Middle Peak Fire Road. This is part of the original course now. Wow, <laughs> the views from Middle Peak Fire Road are amazing, wow. We have been heading up Middle Peak Fire Road and we are at mile, this mile in the race. The traditional course would come to this junction which is called Black Oak Trail. And you would uh, typically turn left to go down Black Oak Trail. Now, Middle Peak has two trails with that same name. So you have Black Oak Trail, which runs down the east side of Middle Peak. The modification this year for 2023, instead of taking that left, we're going to 
continue to the right to stay on the Middle Peak Trail. You'll notice this says Middle Peak Fire Road to Black Oak Trail. So there's a second trail named Black Oak Trail, which is what we're gonna head to. This Black Oak Trail is the old course, goes down the east side of Middle Peak. We're gonna head up to Black Oak Trail that heads down the west side of Middle Peak. So proceeding up, continue uphill on the Middle Peak Fire Road. All right, so this many miles into the race, you're gonna to come to a junction. The Middle Peak Fire Road actually proceeds to the right, but we are going to take this left onto the Black Oak Trail that heads down the west side of Middle Peak to, to Milk Ranch Road. Now on a clear day, you'll actually be able to see the Pacific Ocean from here. Today there's a lot of clouds down in the city so but on a clear day you will definitely see the pacific right there and we are now gonna head down black oak trail on the west side of middle peak We are now this many miles into the race and we've come down Black Oak Trail. And this arrives at Milk Ranch Road. And from here, the previous course would have connected on Milk Ranch Road and come in. We're gonna proceed and cross directly straight across Milk Ranch Road onto the Azalea Spring Fire Road. So we're back on route, heading up Azalea Spring Fire Road. So on the way out, when you get back to Cuyamaca Lake in front of you, typically the course would go over this levee directly in front of you, but there's a massive water crossing there. So instead, look for, right at the edge of this little pond, look for a little off-trail marking right by this tree. And the reroute is gonna go basically around the perimeter of this little pond. So you can see the telephone poles out there, it's kind of underneath those telephone poles. And it goes around the perimeter of that pond and then to hook back onto the Marty Mitchell Trail. So that's the reroute on the way out. So I'm on the Marty Mitchell Trail, and this is normally where we would turn left to do the out and back to the Chambers Aid Station. I wonder what the conditions are with all this water. Let's check it out. Let's see what the conditions are. You see that barbed wire fence? That's the trail that normally would take you across the levee to Chambers. So it's a lake right now. There's no, no crossing the chambers today. Okay, so as you can see, when you get to this junction where you normally would turn left, we're no longer doing that out and back. So you will continue straight on the Marty Mitchell Trail on your way out. We're on the return now. This is, whoa, hey, where'd that come from? Ah. Mile 99-ish in the race. And this is normally where we would have you take that right to get on the split in the fence. And then you would take the left to proceed along the edge of the lake. That's normally the way the course goes. But let me back up. We're changing it this year. Instead of taking that left, just continue straight on the Marty Mitchell Trail. So 
So here we are looking at the southern edge of Cuyamaca Lake. The course typically would go across the field. Well, that's usually a field to go towards the finish, but obviously it's the lake. So as we proceed on Marty Mitchell Trail, we're going to come to this levee here. And when you come to the levee, we're going to actually break off trail a little bit and head to the left. You'll see some telephone poles over there. So the, the course will go across the field there, uh, underneath the telephone poles, and then along the edge of this little pond to the other side of the levee. So we're gonna head left here. And here we are on the other side. So the, on the way back, we went around the, that little pond, around the perimeter and popped out on here on the Marty Mitchell Trail. And we will now take a left and proceed on the Marty Mitchell Trail. I am on the Marty Mitchell Trail on the southern tip of Cuyamaca Lake and Highway 79 is just a little bit ahead of me. Just before this cluster of trees, just before the trail goes through this cluster of trees, there is a faint trail that heads down towards the lake. You'll see a little wooden stake right here. Sticking up, that's where we're gonna get off the Marty Mitchell Trail and start following the ribbon along the edge of the lake. A little bit of bushwhacking, but not painful bushwhacking, just bushwhacking for the last half mile back to the lake. Cross past this uh, sign here. Look for this sign too. Well, definitely be prepared for an interesting finish. It was, uh, it's a little tough okay, going across country, cross country a little bit, but hey, you know what? The reward at the end will be that much sweeter. And there you have it. San Diego 100 2023 revised course. Finish line will be the same along the edge of the lake. By the time you get here, you will be able to grab a chair. See you on the trails.